Okay, good morning everybody. It's the halfway point here. It's Wednesday, July 11th. The grain and the oil seeds over here for the period of time being on the defense have been taking a one-two punch and they took another punch in the overnight trade. We're down roughly around five cents in the wheats, three in the corn, down around 15 cents in the beans, two dollars in the meal, and down roughly around 45 points in the uh, soybean oil. The one-two punch, the punch coming in last night coming from the political side, the uh, Trump administration raised the stakes in the trade war with China on Tuesday, saying it would slap 10% tariffs on an extra $200 billion worth of Chinese products. And then the Washington, a week ago, imposed a 25% tariff on $34 billion of Chinese imports. So once again, this was round two. So the trade wars continue. They get ramped on up. I guess there's more bullets in Trump's uh, holster here to throw more tariffs at China. So that kind of put the weight on the market in the overnight trade. And the other punch that has been going on in here collectively, we know tomorrow we're going to have a USDA report in oak crop bean and corn stocks. We're not running out right now, so that's somewhat of a defensive uh, uh, ploy. The other main thing during this time period, which we've been harping about, that the quote-unquote Trump card has been what's been going on with weather and crop conditions. And as we saw yesterday, the crop conditions for spring wheat, corn, and beans remain in the plus 70% percentile for um, uh, good to excellent. And then the weather forecast and or the weather right now is quite conducive. So trade and the markets continue to focus on that during this time period. And that has been leading to the pressure that we've seen in the marketplace. We've been coming down in the market ever since May. Since then, from early in the beginning of the year till May, we saw where, and particularly the corn, beans, and meal, where the trade has built up this core of being a sizable net long in corn, beans, and meal. Since then, with these one-two punch that's been going on, corn even making new contract lows in the overnight trade, we've been finding out that we've liquidated this net long position in corn and beans and fizzled it into somewhat of a small modest net short position. They're still net long the meal, but maybe half of what they were at one time. So we've got this culmination of weather and politics that continues to weigh on the marketplace. We don't feel that the trade is all that much and that short, the corn and the beans at this point in time. I guess we're going to see over the next couple of days what happens with this trade war talk that's uh, reoccurring and or the USDA report to see if we can't maybe fudge a little bit more weakness in the marketplace. Theoretically, this may continue to be driven all the way till the end of the month when we come out with first notice day uh, deliveries for the July contract. So once again, on the defensive, this is my opinion, not that of ADM or ADMIS. Thank you.